What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Accelerators Hub for another video. So today, we're finally going to be doing what a lot of you guys have been messaging me about constantly. We're going to be playing through the Accelerators card game. I'm um, here with my girl. We're going to be running through the realms. So let's hop straight into it. On a disclaimer, though, I'm not going to go through and explain all the rules to the game. As we play, we're going to um, sort of explain what we're doing, the names of the cards, some of the mod icons and things like that, just to so that you guys know what we're thinking as we're playing the cards. But if you want to find out the rules to the game, and you don't have a rule book, there's a great little ad from the actual movie with Monkey playing the um, the card game against a racing drone. So you can go check that out if you're trying to learn some of the rules on the fly. And then I think we do a pretty good job of explaining all the rules during the game that we're using. So hopefully that'll clear up some of the confusion for you guys. Now, this is our first playthrough on camera. We played this game a bunch for fun. Um, so don't hate on us too hard in the comments if it's a little cringy or if we miss some stuff. Um, I always end up missing stuff like realm bonuses or mod icons. So uh, if you guys see anything that we goof up on, go down in the comments and let me know. Let us know if you want to see different realms next time, different cards. Maybe we can add some 3D foils in there. So uh, just enjoy, guys. So let's get right into it. All right, guys. So we're about to run through this card game. We need some patience because it might not be perfect the first time. We're sort of messing around with the camera angles and everything. But we've got our decks all shuffled. Um, yes, they are from the starter deck mostly, but we did swap some cards in and out. We added some foils. I had some foils that were heavily played, so I swapped them into the decks just to make it a little more interesting. So we've got our eight random realms here and we're going to be picking which four realms that we're going to play through. So you pick the first round. Mm, this one. All right, I'll do this one yes. and this one. So we're not going to use these four. And obviously four rounds are from the starter deck and four are not from the starter deck. There's no foil rounds though. So those are the rounds we're going to play in. Let's make sure that it's level. So we're going to move it up a little bit. And there might be instances where you guys can't see the whole entire um, playing field, like if we have more than two or three vehicles in a realm, you probably won't be able to see all of them, but we're gonna do our best to talk through it and show the camera. So uh, let's just get into it, guys. All right. all right. So we're going to draw our seven cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You get a vehicle? Yep. All right, so we're gonna get underway, guys. So let's play rock, paper, scissors, see who goes first. Best two out of three. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right. Oh, first. that was easy. Okay. She got me already. So we're going to enter the, the swamp, swamp round. round. Okay. I'm going to draw a card and lay down my nightlight. She plays Ugh. nightlight. Okay. Um. Good luck getting out of there. Thanks. I'm going to use my three AP for my second wind O2 tank. Very nice. And I am just gonna use my last point to draw. Okay. All right, so I draw. And I'm gonna play RDO6 down into the swamp round. And we already have enough points to make it through, so I'm gonna right. use my APs. Uh, maybe not, that's a shame. <laughs> so I have three APs. going to draw one card with one AP and I draw a second card with my second AP and I'm just going to draw a third card with all three APs so now I have to discard because I have more than seven cards one two three four five six seven eight nine. I have to discard a lot and discard moss gorillas we're going to discard oh that's a good one we're going to discard choke valves we're going to discard Discard soundproof. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now my turn is done. You good? All right. I draw. It doesn't make it through yet. So my three AP, I'm going to add balance box. And that gets me up to five. And I don't have a one point card, so I'm just wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna draw, and I'm gonna throw that away because <laughs> I 
Ah, thank goodness. She stresses me out when her deck's not straight, guys. I'm a little <laughs> OCD. So is that it for your turn? Yep. All right, so I draw. And now RDO6 makes it through into the monument round, bummer. I hope we didn't end up with all four starter deck rounds, guys. I was trying not to end up with that, but we may have done that. So with my three APs, I'm going to, first of all, ooh. So I'm gonna use all three APs on Maze Minotaur, and I'm going to take out her, this one, what is that? Take out Second Wind O2 Tank. Dang it. So I can keep her nightlife in the Swamp Realm a little bit longer, and that's gonna do it for me. Okay. Thanks for that. I'm going to draw. Still have not gotten another car. Okay. Um, I don't have anything that I can play, so I guess I'll just draw. And I only have two AP now. I still don't have anything that I can play. Draw one more. Draw one more. And I'm gonna discard. still need another car just less for you guys definitely better to have more vehicles than not enough vehicles because you're kind of handicapped if you don't have any cars so what i'm going to do on my turn with my three ap's is i'm going to play the wall crawl accelerator charger onto rdo6 and that's going to do it for me all right i'm going to draw oh i finally got a car i'm gonna play Jaw jammer. Hmm. Shout out to Pork Chop, guys. Pork Chop. <laughs> and I'm going to use my Excella Charger, my Turn and Burn Two, on mm. him, and that's going to do it for me. Okay, so I draw, and now RDO Six makes it through the Monument Realm into <laughs> the Cliffside Realm. So now for my turn, um, I cannot draw a vehicle, guys, so I'm a little bit handicapped here. But what I'm going to do is play my turn and burn Excella Charger on, nope. Not nope, you already laid it down. That was an error, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna play my turn and burn Excella Charger onto RDO6, still not quite enough to get through, and that's gonna do it for me. Okay, I'm going to draw. Oh, I didn't have anything. My jaw jammer makes it through with five points. Gotta throw him away. Okay. Hmm. Oh, and I also have battle spec too. So now she has a team bonus because she has two techno vehicles. So now she has four APs to use. Thank God. That's good. Um. I'm going to use my wall crawl cellar charger. On my jaw jammer, so that's four, five, six, and I still have one point left. I'm just gonna draw. Okay. All right, my turn. I draw. It's not looking good for me, guys. I can't get a vehicle, <laughs> so she definitely has the advantage here. So what we're gonna do with our three APs this time around. Wow, this is tough. Okay, what we're gonna do is just draw one card, and then I'm going to use the hazard card, hairpin turn, to get rid of her balance box. And that's gonna do it for me. Okay, I draw. Oh wait, actually I have eight cards in my hand, so I have to discard oh. a card. My fault, everybody. I'm gonna get rid of draft and pass, nobody likes that anyways. Okay, your turn. <laughs> okay. Jaw Jammer makes it through. Stella Charger doesn't go through the next round. And I have four AP. Ooh, I'm gonna use my Spy Eye mod. 
gets me up to six, and it lets me look into my opponent's hand. There is nothing <gasps> interesting in here. That's for sure. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any APs left? I have two. Okay. I'm going to use... Five, six, seven. Oh, that's eight. Um, this is a tough one. I kind of got some good cards that I don't know. Must be nice. Okay, I'll get rid of another hazard. Okay, I draw. Still no vehicles. Huh. He still doesn't make it through? Nope. Hmm. Okay, guys, it's time to just cut our losses with this hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use my first AP to draw a card. I'm going to use my second one to draw a card. I'm going to use my third one to draw a card. Wow, I cannot get a vehicle for anything. Okay, so now I have to discard a bunch of cards. So we're going to discard a foil. I know, guys. Just because they're foil doesn't, mean them, doesn't make them good cards. So we're going to get rid of the foil. It is pretty. We're going to get rid of mutant vultures. And we are going to get rid of gear crush. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more card to get rid of. We're gonna get rid of Wind Shark. All right, that's gonna do it for me. My turn? Yep. All right, I draw, and Jawjammer makes it to the next realm, which is? The Solar Realm. Ooh, okay. Um, I have four AP, so I'm going to... I'm just gonna use two on this one. The good thing is that it has two icons. Yeah, I don't know. What are they called again? Mod icons. Okay. The good thing is <laughs> this has two mod icons, so I could use it on either this or this. Pulse Motor is an awesome card, guys. Okay. I have two left. And. Uh, always takes the longest because I don't know what I want to use. Oh, I only have one choice. Okay, I'm going to use... Oh, no, I'm not. <sighs> but that would get me even faster in the other realms. I'm going to use my simulator run shift on my nightlife. That's it for me. Alright, my turn. All right, so my turn. So I draw. Oh, we drew a vehicle, guys. I'm going to play RDO2.V2. So now I have a team bonus. Gotta love the shiny foil cards. Make sure you go purchase some for my store. <laughs> you guys know what to do. So now we have a team bonus. So I have four APs again. Thank goodness. And wow, I have so many options now. Gosh, so many options. So little time. So the first thing we are going to do is... I'm going to take care of. Uh, well, maybe I can't. It's really tough playing with only three AP. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we're just going to let you slide for now. I'm going to play the Wall Crawl Accelerator Charger on mm -hmm. RDO 6 to help him get through the cliffside round. And then I'm just going to draw a card with my last one. And that'll do it for me. All right, so I draw. My jaw jammer makes it through. And how many cars do we need? Three. Three? Okay. So she's one third of the way to the win. All right, none of my other cars make it through quite but I'm, yet. I'm coming back, guys. <laughs> I don't know. I can't lose in my own video. Ooh, so I still have four AP. Yep. Thinking, should I worry about you or me? Worry about yourself. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to use my Mutant Vulture 
Hazard, which means I can choose one of my opponent's in play Excella Charger cards and remove it to their junk pile. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. Wall crawl. Yep. That was really well played. So much for that. Okay, my turn is over. All right, my turn again, guys. I draw. So now RDO2 version two advances into the monument realm. What a sweet card. And then I am determined to get RDO5 through the cliffside realm. So I'm going to play the emergency break shift card with, for one AP. So I still have three left. So that will ensure that he makes it through. Hmm. And then I'm going to play the wind shark Excel charger with my other three points onto RDO2 version two. And I will end my turn with that. I feel like I just wasted my hazard. Okay, I draw. Nobody makes it through. Hmm, I still have four AP. I guess I'll use two. So that's one, two, three, four. Still have two left. I'm gonna draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I guess I'll just draw one more card. And that's it. Yep, and I discard because I had too many. All right, so my turn. So I draw again. Now RDO5 advances into the solar realm. I lose my Excel Charger and my shift card. And RDO2 version two moves into the cliffside realm. Again, loses the Excel Charger. So now, let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna use two AP to play Visor Mask onto RDO5, or onto your RDO6, excuse me. And then with my other two AP, I'm going to play Arrow Package onto RDO6. And that's gonna do it for me. You know you didn't have to do that, right? Why not? Oh, see, look, guys, I just made an error. I had a terrain bonus that I didn't notice, so I just wasted two AP. <laughs> All right, What does turn. that mean, that it adds one more to each, right? So you would have had Yeah, so I would six. have had six without hmm. using Arrow Package. Oh, well. She's better than me, guys. I draw. Does he make it through? Nope. Not quite, but I did draw a Ratified 2. Hmm, this might be a better option that get me through. So I still have 4 AP. I'm going to... Oh, that one's not going to help me. That one's not going to help me. I don't have any good cards. Um, Actually, I think this car will be better in the long run because the numbers are higher. So I'm gonna use my four AP. <gasps> I can't, oh no. Okay, scratch that. What? Because the, sim oh, the, the symbols, symbols don't match. Oh, the symbols don't match up, that's a bummer. Well, I don't have any other options to play. So I guess I'll just use my four AP on my ratified two. And this mod car lets me return one card from my junk pile to my hand. Hmm. And I'm gonna take the turn and burn too. And that's it for my turn. All right, my turn. So now I draw and RDO5 advances through the solar realm, so I'm one third of the way done. So now I'm going to play Technetium 2. And I lose my team bonus because RDO6 went through. I probably should have waited and kept it around for the extra AP. But this is where we're at now. So, tough hand. So I have three APs, and I'm going to play the Hydro Glide Accela Charger onto RDO2 version 2. And that's going to do it for me. All right, so I'm gonna draw my nightlife. One, two, three, four does not make it through. Oh, but yep. my ratified makes it through. Okay. Hmm. I have four AP. <laughs> and. I'm going to play Asphalt Anchor. So anytime you play 
a hazard, this card can what, knock it out or replace it? Yeah, that card, Asphalt Anchor can be sacrificed to take out a hazard and protect the other cards. Okay, so I have one more. Ooh. I'm just gonna draw. Okay. All right, I draw. And RDO 2 version 2 makes it through the cliffside realm and into the solar realm, one step closer to victory. And what we're gonna do this turn is, wow, this is a tough hand. Oh. Okay, first I'm gonna draw a card. Now I'm going to play the emergency break shift card onto Technetium 2, and then I'm gonna draw one card with my last AP. All right, your turn. All right. So I draw, <gasps> ooh, I have a foil torqued power bomb. Okay, it's pretty. And then my ratify two makes it, whoops, makes it through to the next round. <laughs> They're kind of slippery. Okay. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Five, six. six. So that one's good to go. I still don't have any cards that are going to help me out. Oh. I'm going to use my Turn and Burn 2 Exilla Charger. Oh! I have another team bonus. So that's three four, five. Oh, she has five APs now. Okay, so that's three now. I have two more. Hmm. I think I'm going to draw. And I have one more AP, but I think I'm just going to skip that. Okay. Not use it. All right, I draw. All right, I play RDO 3 plus. So now I have four APs again. And what we're gonna do here, I need to stop some of her movement because she's moving a little quick. So what I'm going to do, hmm. I don't know, I think this is gonna be a tough game. You got one? I'm gonna play my Stone Sphinx Hazard for two AP to take out her air refresher. So then I have two more AP. And I'm going to use my carnivorous plants with my other two and get rid of the balance box on here, Nightlife. Wow. And that's gonna do it for me. Hmm. So I draw and my torch power bomb makes it through. My goodness. Lose my Excella Charger. Hmm. I did not know you were gonna play a hazard on me. <gasps> oh my gosh, Shaky. Never mind. I could have dodged that, but. So I still have five AP. I'm going to play two for Slam Ram Hyperpod. I have three now. Hmm. I'm actually going to play the shift, which lets me swap. Oh, yeah. Swap the position of any two of your in-play vehicles from the same team, swap vehicles, equip all but mods. So this may seem silly, but I'm gonna switch these two. Okay. That'll do it for me. Okay, I draw. So now, what we're gonna do with our four APs. Is, all right, you ready for this guys? This is gonna be awesome. We're gonna play Under the Hood, which is an essential for every deck. And the way this one works is when this card comes into play, you can place a mod on any one of your in-play vehicles for free. Modability rules do not apply, so it doesn't matter how many AP it costs, you can just immediately play another mod. 
So now that Technetium 2 has enough to make it through the Swamp Realm, I'm gonna play for free the Arrow Package card onto my RDO2 version two. And since the modability icons don't matter, it does not matter that these two don't have the same symbol. So Arrow Package is now equipped to RDO2 version two. And I have one AP left, so I'm just going to draw a card. Oh no. And that'll do it for me. Okay, so I draw, ooh, Spine Buster. Okay, my Ratify 2 makes it through. Hmm. You need to think smart. Mm -mm, don't touch my mind. <laughs> I can see I your have, eyes. <laughs> I have five. The drones never did anything to anybody. Leave them alone. Hmm. I don't know which hazard I should play on your card. I think... I'm going to play the Magnetic Bounce. What does that do? It sends your car back one realm, but you can keep all of your mods and you have to throw away all of your shifts and Accelerate Chargers. So Magnetic Bounce bounces RDO2 version 2 back into the cliffside realm. Not mm -hmm. cool. Pretty cool if you ask me. Okay, I have one point left and I'm going to use it on my Endor Shift on the Torque Power Bomb. Very nice. All right, I draw. I stop and start one more time. All right. And now, so, oh, oh man, it doesn't make it through, bummer. So Technetium 2 makes it through to the Monument Realm, loses its shifts. And RD2 version two is stuck again. So now what we're going to do with our four APs is, hmm, it's going to be close. This is going to be a close one. I'm going to play Air Refresher hmm. onto Technetium 2. So now I get to return one card from my junk pile to my hand. I better know which one it's going to be. So we're going to add back. So I'm adding back Wind Shark to my hand, and that's gonna do it for me. Okay, so I draw. He does not make it through. Three, four, five, six. All right. So Ratified two makes it into the solar. This card range. just gives me trouble. Okay. Hmm. I just have my cards stacking up over here. Let's see. I have five still. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna use three AP for under the hood shift, which means I can place any mod car mod card on any car. No worry about the cost. Hmm. Well, I only have one, so I'm gonna play this. And I have, oh yeah, spoiler. That's gotta be the most customized car ever. It's got like four mods and a hat and a shift on it. Hmm, how many? I have two points left. And I'll use Avalanche to on take out my air refresher. air refresher. That'll do it for me. All right, my turn, I draw. Okay, so we're gonna, first of all, with our four points, we're gonna play Simulator Run with two of them. And then with the last two, we are going to Okay, well with the last two, I'm just going to draw. So I have one point left. Draw one more card. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And yes, guys, I did just notice that I have a terrain bonus again in the monument realm. So Technetium 2 could have probably gone through, but I missed it. <laughs> you live and you learn. So that'll do it for me. You gotta pay attention to all the details. So I draw. And then my Ratify 2 makes it through. That's two of them done. Yep. 
All right. I only have three cards, so. Okay, I still have five AP. Hmm. Can't use that. I think I'm just gonna draw for, from one of them. Oh. And I have four AP left, so I'm gonna use my teleport Excella Charger, which protects my vehicle stack from hazards for three turns. And I only need one more turn or two more. So that's gonna do it for me. All right, I draw. All right, so now RDO2 version two makes it through the cliffside realm again, lose my simulator run. We're back in the solar realm. And Technetium 2 has a terrain bonus, so that boosts that up to five. So it has enough to make it through the monument realm. And now I'm gonna play my RDO1 card to ensure that I stay with my four APs. So now what we're going to do, since RDO2 version two has enough to make it through already, I just need to take care of Technetium 2. So I'm gonna play Asphalt Anchor with three of my APs to boost me back up to six. And then I have one AP left, so I am simply going to draw a card. My right, turn? Your turn. Okay. I draw. Ooh, I got a Flathead Fury 2. Let me scoot these up. Okay. My Torch Power Bomb makes it through. Uh oh. But I don't lose. No, you lose. I don't. Lose. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you lose the Excel Chargers. Yeah. <gasps> oh, well, it only, I mean, that's it only okay. helps you if you're stuck in the round forever. All right. And I have <laughs> five AP still. I'm going to play Moss Gorillas, which takes all of his Boom, mods. Boom, Dodging Disaster. <gasps> so I'm going to play Dodging Disaster. This, you can, ah! you can play this card at any time to cancel one hazard, then discard Dodging Disaster your junk pile. So this will save me. I know you guys have seen this in my hand for a while. I've been saving it for this moment. So we're going to negate her Moss oh, no. So she loses all four of her APs that she spent on that card. So now she only has one left. Oh, I do have one left. I'm just gonna draw. All right, so my turn. So I draw. Now RDO2 version two. Oh, it does go through on the next turn, doesn't it? Yep. That's tough. <laughs> so RDO2 version two makes it through the solar realm. And Technetium two makes it into the solar realm. Oh, I keep the mod, yeah, yep. that's right. Ooh, that is tough, guys. I did not realize the Torque Power Bomb already has enough to make it through the Solar Realm. So this might be not pretty here at the end. Play Vector Metalloid, so I have five APs again. And all I can really do is draw one card. Balance box. Bummer. Your future does not look bright. I'm draw one more card. Bummer. So I'm just gonna play Wind Shark with my last three. APs, and uh, that will end my turn. All right. Hmm. I draw. My torch power bomb makes it through, and I win. So she wins. So guys, probably one of the best plays of the game was when she took her draft and pass and swapped her torque power bomb and what was it? You ratified too? I think so. Yeah. Because that worked out really well. Because the numbers that we needed were on the end, and I noticed that. Got a higher number. And guys, one of the bigger mistakes I was, I didn't notice that Canadium 2 had a round bonus in the Monument Realm because it probably could have gone through a round earlier and I ended up losing by one turn. So I ended up costing myself the game by not noticing. So that was a good game. <laughs> she is 1-0 against me, guys. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today's video. She beat me at my own game. I specialize in the cards and I still lost. So nobody is infallible these days. But I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough. Um, like I said, we made a couple mistakes during the game that I noticed as we were recording, but I didn't want to go back in and change it. So uh, let us know down in the comments if you saw any mistakes or anything that we can improve on for the next time or anything special that you guys want to see if we do another playthrough of the card game. But that's going to do it for today, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Be, feel sure to like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next